Hey guys, today we are in Philippi, West Virginia at the second annual Lurch Festival. This is a celebration of Ted Cassidy's birthday, July 31st. Now Ted wasn't born here, he was born in Pittsburgh, but this is where he grew up, went to school and played football. Now we didn't know anything about this festival, so we missed last year's. Our friends Libby and Bob mentioned it to us. So we wanted to give them a shout out and say thanks a lot. We're pretty excited about this, especially it's pretty close to where we live. It's easy to get to. We hope it gets bigger. I hope to have many more of these to come. So you're going to come with us. We're going to take you around and show you everything they have to do here. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. This is something you don't see every day. Three first lined up. Look at that thing on top of it. Graveyard Mafia. Found some shirts. Let's just take a look at them. What do you think of that one, Bobby? Yeah. <laughs> they look like pretty nice shirts. Yeah. Soft. So we got have some bags. Some totes. Five dollars. The shirts are twenty. But I like this orange one over here. Let me show you that one. Right there. That's probably the one I'm gonna get. So pricing. There's that shirt, and that shirt's also available. Here's the stickers. That's it. That's the one. You got the right one. That, that place was there for a long time. We're going pretty quick. Yeah, absolutely. This is all they have left. Let's go take a look over here and see what this is. It's a Bigfoot. Bigfoot clock and the Mothman, another West Virginia item. Look at Michael Myers, brother. Babysitter's point. Oh, yeah. I think I let him babysit. Yeah. Look over there, John. I think I see Cousin It. Well, that is Cousin It. There he is. Oh, he had to come out today. Look at these, though. The cutouts. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. How are you? Here's some more stuff. Lurch Fest. Those are neat. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. A lot of cool stuff. Here's another shirt. Creepy and kooky. Beetlejuice and Freddy. People are playing some cornhole. The more Adams family merch over here. Let's make our way down this way. What do you see, Bobby? We have some Adams family Christmas ornaments for two dollars. Take a look at them. Yeah, they say Lurch Fest on the back. Little homemade ornaments and bottle cap charms yeah in this family well we picked up a couple things already i got that shirt and bobby got the green one yeah we wanted to get two different ones yep that's pretty cool and had to get a christmas ornament which one did we get we have a tree that we have that we just put our ornaments from places that we've gone to before it's like our little vacation tree and that one it says Lurch Fest yeah. on the back. Two dollars. Philippi, West Virginia. Pretty neat. This is the second annual one. Wish we would have known about the first one. We definitely came last year. That's a cutting board. It's a um, more of a charcuterie board. Oh, okay. I mean, you could cut on the wood parts, and but it might scratch if you okay. cut on the resin. And that's all carved out and then poured with resin. Okay, so you just put like meats and cheese. Yeah, it's a charcuterie, but it's meats, cheese, that's fruits, nice. That's pretty neat. Crackers, too. things like that. But it's a dollar a ticket. Okay. Or six for five, and we're drawing today, but you don't have to be here. Okay. Well, we're we'll gonna, take one. We're gonna take a chance on this. Wrap on this off. 
So I mean, some different ones here. That one's freaky. <laughs> I don't know. Also have some axe throwing set up. Five dollars for ten throws. Now Philippi is known for being the first land battle of the Civil War. Right there is one of the oldest bridges around. Old covered bridge. Still in operation. That's how you come into the town. More shirts. There's a mummy inside this thing. Have you saw the mummies? I saw the mummies in Philippi, West Virginia. And there's the Lurch Festival shirt. Here are the prices for these t-shirts. Lurch Fest on the front and on the back. Let's take a look. Pretty nice. Lurch Fest 2022. I have a gentleman who is writing a book on Ted Cassidy, biographer. Book coming in summer of 2023. A portrait prince. How are you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm Christopher Cook. I'm the author of the upcoming biography on Ted Cassidy. And it'll be coming out next summer, June or July, something like that. We'll do an official book launch uh, at Lurch Fest next year. Oh, that sounds so I'm great. Excited. This year what I'm doing is selling these original portrait prints. Uh, the small ones are five bucks a piece. The me medium size are ten. And then these nice large ones are fifteen dollars a piece only. And then of course I have the beautiful Lurch tuxedo tees for ten dollars a piece. Okay, and this is how everybody can get you online at your website, right? That's that, uh, yes, that sounds great. All right. Awesome. Thank are you on YouTube, sir? Yes, we are. Okay. All right, guys, I'm with Ed, one of the organizers of Lurch Fest, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what this is. Okay, well, we really enjoy it. What had happened, Ted Cassidy was born or raised here in Philippi, graduated from Philippi High School. So we thought, well, we have a celebrity in town. And he died at a young age, but his mother stayed here in family uh, for years after that. She became a dorm mother, so... We got together with Main Street and uh, Convention and Visitors Bureau. I got with my son, who's a partner in uh, Dixon Studios out of Morgantown, and asked them to build us a lurk. And this is the actual size, six foot nine. Uh, so they built him. We took him in, and then we got together again, the three organizations, and thought, we need to do something. So we ended up putting out last year a lurk fest just to have people to get together in town and enjoy it, have music, be a one-day festival, uh, and it turned out to be unbelievable. Uh, last year, and again this year, this year we have a dress-up contest, we had uh, windows decorated in the town, we have uh, the actual purse and everything setting in parking lots, uh, and it's really been, uh, you know, he's a celebrity, he's graduated, so we decided to do something. Uh, and we find it very enjoyable and uh, so do the people it is a meeting place it's nice we have good food good craft uh, craft beer vendors and uh, also have a lot of crafters sitting out there so everybody is welcome please come it's an enjoyable time and it's only a one day festival from noon until nine o'clock and you can sit and listen to music and enjoy the food we really appreciate it. All right, so anybody that's watching this, make sure to come to the third annual Lurch yes. Fest next year, about this the same time. This yeah, time, it, time. Is, it has been such a success that we have already said today, a couple of us on the committee, we're definitely going to do it again next year. So there will be a Lurch Fest either the end of July or the first week in August. And uh, we will have the music. And please come. Enjoy yourself. It's great. You can stay for an hour, you can stay for nine hours. It's really neat. All right, thanks, Ed. Pre I thank you. Well, we found something we might have to get later. There's a Lurch Burger, an Uncle Fester, Ramp Burger, Honey Jalapeno Grilled Chicken BLT, and a Veggie Burger. 
try one of those later. Some pit beef with some pork rinds. Pit beef sandwich is nine dollars. Homemade lemonade. Cotton candy, three dollars a bag. That's not bad. No, make it fresh, right there. I'm sure we'll get some of that later also. Pretty good crowd out here today. It was supposed to rain. We're here sitting around and got live music. Also, they have craft beer vendors here. And this one is selling a craft beer by the name of You Rang. And it's for the Lurch Festival debut today. Let's go in the museum. They have a nice little display Ted in here some items let's start on this cousin it there's the thing it's Wednesday the lurch Bobby ever done that dance doesn't everybody know that dance though everybody out there has done that dance if you guys haven't seen it look it up on YouTube it's like an autograph picture of Ted and the lyrics from the Lurch. Let's go over here and see what they have. There he is in his 1946 high school football picture. Yep, you can tell that's him. It's pretty neat they have that. Oh, yeah. Looks like they have like an obituary. Sorry about the glare of it when he passed away. Local thing from the newspaper, remembering him. Here's the advertisement for the Lurch Fest. Here's an article from the Blue and Gray Echo from January 19th, 1948. Outstanding seniors. There he is, Ted Cassidy, born July 31st, 1931. Said he will always be remembered for his athletic ability in football and basketball. He was selected on the all-conference team. Pretty neat little stuff. And a movie script, or a show script. I'm sure it's a reprint of all the cast members. There he is. Just going through, saying what their roles are. And they have a lot of other things in here. And there's also a couple mummies in here. We might save that for another time. Just a lot of history of the area in here. There's another picture of his high school football team the following year. 1947, there he is. Number 70. He was big back then. Well, we stopped in the sheets. So much got, Bobby. Yeah, it's really hot outside, so we got a large slush. You know we're going to get a slush. So we're headed down through here to see if some of the windows are decorated in some of the businesses. Well, let's go find out. The Adams Family, you rang. Cousin It is in this window, if I can get it without the glare. There he is. A quote in there. Hope's Mission Thrift Store has a few decorations. What we got, Bobby? There is Cousin Ed and Thing. Look at the uh, nice display yeah. of the cover bridge they have. Yeah, they got two of them. And they have a lot of pictures in here also of Lurch and the Adams family. Who is your favorite? I probably like Gomez the best. They were all good. Yeah, I like Wednesday. See the family picture there, John? Yes, I see Do you see know it. which one had a connection with Elvis? Yes, I do know that. I'll give you guys a second out there to see if you know. It was Carolyn Jones, Morticia. She was in King Creole with Elvis. Don't know if you guys knew that. What a 
head on up the street, see if there's any more. Nice little town, huh? Mm, that's a beautiful building. There's another cousin it. What's this? Hello, summer. And you have a spider in the window. There's bats on this one. Law office. Look at that backdrop. I look something like a Midnight Syndicate CD cover. Yeah. Molly's hand dipped ice cream. It's probably pretty good. Well, they have. They have a tree. Like a purple tree in there. Blow up ice cream cones. We saw this guy walking around down there at the festival. Does a pretty good job of imitating Lurch. Chiropractor office has the new Adams family in the window. Nationwide has a nice display of the Adams family. There's Lurch. Pugsley, Wednesday. Did a good job on that. There's thing. thing, Cleopatra. Almost forgot about that one. The man-eating plant. Uncle Fester. He always liked to eat light bulbs, remember? Yep. And Thing. Looks like that's about it. Maybe one more building down here. But look what we see over there. Are we in Point Pleasant, West Virginia? No, we're not. We're in Philippi, West Virginia. Let us show you why we said Point Pleasant. It's the Mothman. The Mothman did not want to miss out on Lurch Fest. He's promoting his own festival that happens every year. Theodore Cassidy, born July 1932, passed away January 1979. Hometown son. Get your Lurch merchandise around the corner. So this must be what they're selling. Some t-shirts, some prints, some stickers. Funko. We love Funkos. Those are nice prints. And they have more pictures over here. This sets Ted as a father, showing some personal side of Lurch. And they have a TV going. Nice display. Our last stop before we go back to the festival. That's really nice, isn't it? A great job. Um, there's Pugsley and Wednesday, Lurch, like Thing. The, yeah, I like the spiders too. Add a little extra touch to it. That's some great artwork. Mm -hmm. I really like Cousin It. We've seen almost more of him and we have Lurch I down here. I know. <laughs> We're headed back down. Right across the street from the sheets. Well, we came back to get the Lurch Burger. It's already been sold out, so we're just gonna get the Uncle Fester. The Uncle Fester Beef Bologna Sandwich. Some provolone, sweet hot mustard. Got some relish on here. Let me see if I can get it, flip it this way and see it better. Look at all that. Yeah. That's two big pieces of bologna. One of the Lurch Burger, we didn't know that it sold out that fast. We said last year they do it once a year, Bobby? Once a year. Next year, we're gonna get it first. So let's yeah. go. As soon as we get here, we're gonna get it next year. That is some great beef bologna. And Two slices. I mean, I figured just one's big enough, but two, they didn't shortchange it. It's $10. The yeah. sweet pepper and onion relish that's on there adds to it. And love the hot mustard. It's a messy sandwich. We'll go one more bite with this. Second bite is just as good as the first one. I would have liked to have tried the Lurch Burger, but it'd have been hard to beat this. Love fried bologna. What did we get as a side, Bobby? Now this came with the sandwich. Homemade potato chips. Everybody knows we love homemade potato chips. What did you think about that? 
So it's really good crunch, some little bit of salt on that. So it's refreshed. And it came with the sandwich. So that's a good deal for ten dollars. It is. We're hoping the rain holds. Yeah, because it's starting to get some clouds. We would hope not. What do you think of this? It's a good time. I'm excited to see the boss too. Yeah, we're hoping that's what for another what two hours two for hours. that. So storm, please stay away. I wanted to share with you guys this covered bridge. This is the oldest covered bridge in the state of West Virginia. It was built in 1852, and it's also the oldest covered bridge in the United States that's still used on a main highway. Lurch cookies. Those are cute. Homemade with love. Right out. You did a good job on that. Yeah. I think his head's going to fall off. Oh, he took Lurch's head off. It's so hot out here. It's going to melt. There. <laughs> Okay, so that's a really good cookie. It's soft. The icing got like a sweet taste to it. Excellent. Guys, I'm with a friend of mine, Randy here. He's going to show us how to make cotton candy. Tell us about it. What you got to do? All we got to do is uh, we take a scoop of uh, flavored sugar and we put it down in the uh, little hole over here. It'll heat up and immediately starts coming out as the cotton candy. Pretty simple. I'm about to throw at it. The girls here are, but... And it's healthy for you, right? It is. Very healthy. There it is. Here's a marker telling about the history of the covered bridge, and that is in great shape. Coming. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed our day at Lurch Fest. What did you think about it, Bobby? I had a great time. I wanted to thank Ed for talking to us and telling us a little bit about the festival. Also. Libby and Bob for telling us about it. Now you can come here at noon and it lasts till dark. They had live music, they had the costume contest, which I really enjoyed. All that is free. Now if you buy a shirt like John and I did, but these are pretty nice yeah, shirts. Yeah, they are nice. They were only $20.
um, and in your food, which really wasn't very expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't and it's think. good. I had a great time. We recommend you guys come to this. Now it's in West Virginia, so if you live in this area or Pennsylvania, next year, make sure you come here. Now we're definitely coming back next year and hoping to pick up Christopher's new book. Should be very interesting. But we're here for Ted Cassidy. So we can't end this vlog without wishing him a happy, happy birthday. birthday. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left the building. building.